All right, so this is Aubrey S. And I'm deciding to do a very long play, which I imagine is going to take two parts because it's the one game that's going to take very long and it's a board game. Yep, Monopoly for the Switch. So I'm going to play this game because, I don't know, it's one of those games that you would play on a late Saturday afternoon, kind of similar to, I don't know, now. And, you know, if you're one of those type of players that want to play a nice, long game of a board game you like, and you like Monopoly, well, grab a seat, grab your favorite brew or favorite beverage, sit on your favorite chair, recline if you can, and relax, because you're in for a long-ass game. So, let's play Monopoly. Have to go through all of this crap. Welcome to Monopoly for Nintendo Switch. All right. So, there are various ways you can play Monopoly. I mean, there are so many ways. So, we're gonna use a live board because it's entertaining. I like the same. And these are the type of modes that you can play. You can play with goal and action cards, which is pretty much your way of playing the game in order to win to your advantage. There's classic rules, which I haven't even played yet, but I'm not gonna do that today. There's Speed Die, which pretty much adds a special rule for quicker games. And then there's House Rules, where you play the game, this town but you can modify the game so based off of certain House Rules. So we're going to do a House Rules type of game. And for today, I'm going to do pretty much the type of game that I want. There are six types, right? So there's the parking. Uh, the cash for the free parking so it's put in on it. If there's a fine or a tax that's been collected throughout the game, whoever lands on the free parking gets that pretty much all that cash in the pot. There's the go and movement, which basically if you land on go, you get 400 bucks, or you can choose any uh, property that has to be purchased. Snake eyes. If you roll two ones, you get $1,000. Everything is basically a rent and auction game. And if you're in jail, you can't collect rent. King of the Hill, where no one gets any money for pass and go. And then there's property improvements, where you can buy houses without necessarily owning all of the properties of the same color. In fact, you don't even have to have four houses to buy a hotel. So that definitely changes the game. And with that, let's play a game where free parking will earn you big bucks. And I always like to use my own character. Share token. Car. And now we're going to add some AI. Nico, Kavina, and Damien. And we're gonna start the game. Let's play Monopoly. Now's the time to get a good roll of the dice. Gotta roll the dice. Let's see who will get to go first. Actually, roll the control. Six. Out of a possible 12 that's literally in the middle. Six possible rolls to beat it. Not too confident of it. And that's one of them. Nine. So now Nico is the first to play. I'm technically second. There's still two more plays to roll. Kavina rolls a seven, so that puts Kavina in second place and currently in third. Damien. Rolls an 11, so that puts Damien in first, Nico in second, 
Okay, being in third, I'm playing last. There's so no I'm better be time to play behind. Monopoly. This is how the board right now, looks. Let's play. Everyone should know how to play Monopoly. If you've never played Monopoly before, I can definitely show you how to play by this game. Let's roll the dice. So let's play Monopoly. Are you interested so in I'm just going to put it out there, I love these properties and one strategy that I'm going to use in this game is that I'm going to try to dominate as much of one side of the board as I possibly can. So if there's an auction for Connecticut Avenue, it's original, its value is 120 so I'm paying at least $3 above now market how you value, do business. but I actually like this property. <laughs> Your time has come. That's Damien's turn. Rolls three. Again, another property that I like. This is your chance to own some real estate. Oh, he's gonna buy it. Ready? Now that's okay because when it's my turn, I'm gonna try to see if I can make a deal for one of those properties. I wish you luck. Okay. Rolls a nine. Sometimes you have already to somebody price. owes me eight dollars. That's my Let's first Let's play. Rolls uh eight. Second property that I want. This property is so looking for a buyer. Who will it be? I'm also going to make a deal. One thing about me, I love to trade. And I love to do this. Go What's your offer? Um, what do you want to trade? Above value because obviously I want that property. So if you notice what I'm trying to do here, I need one property. Shake the dice and see what the future the holds blue, for you. The light blue actually, or the brown to build a monopoly. I'm already up 1220. You can't always decide what's going to happen to you. And go straight to jail. Can't collect two hundred dollars. So he's already. First person locked up. Keep in mind, there are there's no money uh, in the free parking jackpot. There's no one Your had a turn fine. starts now. So as far as I'm concerned, there's zero dollars to play on that board. The roll is a six, which means he lands on my property. Sometimes bad things happen. Smart investors okay. never get lost. So far I've been getting six. It's your turn. Whoa, Snake you out. know what you're doing. The bank is looking for an investor who will be the lucky one. Auction now for one. 40 is the original value of the St. Charles Pitts property. Now up to 141. And Nico threw the properties. Paying a few dollars above the market. Your turn starts now. This property is for sale. It's time to become the owners and buy that property. Now it's my turn. Let's roll the dice. Roll is four. And 
there's a utility. Ever right. wonder who controls the lights? person puts a railroad for auction and you got some money like right now like I have a thousand dollars trust me I'm going to gamble I like the last game I played I had it set up where I had four railroads so if you get four railroads and someone lands on that that's which is just as good as landing on go now we're about to reach the original value Value. So everyone is spending, spending, spending at this. Nina and Bob's is doing that. Nico still has a nice bankroll with the property, but Damien yet to play. Nico rolls me. Land on Indiana Avenue. So your that means $18 goes to Kavina. Rent at the 30. Nina it's your play. turn. Property on the board. Put the most cash. 
but I have the most properties, including It's time to find out whether you have error. good luck on chance. Or bad luck. Advances the boardwalk. This is a very, very good time for Damien to buy to the property. Or will do ready? so. And now has the most expensive property on the board. Have to play 400, but still. Now finally on the board, everyone has property to buy. The future now question for you. They build their color sets, they build some houses, and ultimately build some hotels. But this is a very early game. We haven't seen anyone reach to the go yet. The bank Nico can buy it for investor, 300, who will be the lucky but he's putting one. it up for auction. And Kavina pulls out, which means now that's how I will get business. the property. And it's not my go, but I can definitely see the trade in the works. I wish you Kavina is the play. About to approach the go. Rolls a seven, which puts him on the boardwalk. Persistence is the key to success. Dollars. Now down to 480, and I see a potential trade in the works, and I know he was going to reach out to me. There will be an offer. Let's see what he will do. He's going to give me Indiana and the cash of $69. Trading if is the heart of business. I get Pacific. And I am not going to do that. I'm going to counter offer. And I'm gonna want more than that. <laughs> I'm gonna want a hundred dollars. I want a hundred dollars and the property. I get a twenty dollar plus. Cause he wants the red, I want the green. Is there a deal? What do you want to trade? It is, and with that. We both get that, and I get some money in my pocket. It's one property away. Let's play. One property away for a monopoly. Rolls three. Lands on Ben or It's to buy. It's a in buying this property? Auction Kavina can buy, but if he does that, he's going to run out of cash very soon. He's going to end up with 80 bucks, but he will have the, the, the go, so the go can give him $200. So I'll put him up to 260 Now it's up to 264 very quickly. 264 above the value. I don't have to do Six. Kavina will take it, giving him his second property. He needs one more, but has one hundred and four dollars remaining. Your time so, has come. This is how the game is played. Some people want to play it with a lot of money. That's what I like. To gets see. the double. Lands on Mediterranean. I want that property. So if he wants to is auction sale. it, it's no, time he's going to want to buy it. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm buying that property. <laughs> I am buying that property. There's no deal with that game he's going to make. I know that for Your turn starts now. Amy gets to roll again. It'll be interesting if he gets the two properties that I want. Because then I'll try to do a max. Rolls another that? double for an eight this but lands on my property, so that is now a dollar deduction. I'm at 562. But he has to roll turn. one more time. If he rolls another double, he goes straight to jail. Oh, 
And he does. Well, he will I go didn't straight see to jail. That one coming. He will not collect gold. He will not get two hundred dollars. So that's where he is. I don't recall fines, to be honest with you. So to be honest, Let's roll the dice. no money to be won if anyone lands on the park as far as I can recollect. Seven. That's what I call. And that's some Bad income tax right there, or luxury tax. Nice. So that's a hundred dollars. Now time it's Venus' turn. And 104, he will end up two hundred dollars. Rolls a nine. Lands on Vermont, which is one of my properties. You must pay so this player. Six. So he has some money, but I'm hoping that some moves are made quickly because if I can get myself a monopoly, I will definitely be now. in a position where I can knock some players out early. But trust me, this is a very long time. What do you know? Free property. Do you want to what do you know? What should I do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna block my opponent from giving a monopoly. I wish you luck. And I'm gonna buy that property from Damien later. I just need some money. The roll is an 11. One property that's up for sale for 220. What do you want to do? And it's an auction. At this point, I have no choice but to buy. I have no choice but to buy. Because if I do that, that is the monopoly that I need. And it's one of those monopolies where it's like, you kind of want it. <laughs> now I'm running out of cash. Oh no. And I am down to one dollar. Great investment! But I have a complete color set. <laughs> and a color set just rent alone. Shake the dice and see what the future holds for you. dollars, ninety for a house. But yeah, this is just how close I'm cutting it to the point where I don't have any money. <laughs> Except for like six dollars. Someone already owns this property. Time to pay the rent. Puts me up to seven bucks. I am literally cash poor. Let's play. No money, but I had to do it. A monopoly is hard to pull off. I don't want to pull off monopolies early. So, this is like the lowest I hey, ever played. Oh. And right now. We're getting some money coming in. But it's yeah, your turn. roll again. Keep in mind that the free parking is right in front of Kavina. Kavina rolls a six. Lands home, on home. his own property. Have you thought about upgrading? Now it's down to me, twenty-three dollars, and see what the future holds. Need anything of a seven or higher, and that's a five. Oh no! And just like that, I'm already bankrupt. <laughs> but that's okay. I have some properties that I can um, mortgage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mortgage some utilities. Yeah, this is, I guess, the, the, the downfall of playing and buying as early as possible. Because sometimes you buy early, desperate and times before you know it, desperate measures. you're basically broke. <laughs> so just like that, I have to pay 50 bucks, and I thought I was going to be able to escape. That's okay. Again, I have a monopoly. Your time is a very come. important thing to remember. No one has a monopoly. Kavina, I'm scared because Kavina has $280. Which could be enough money to buy. I don't think it's enough money to buy any of the properties to be honest. Unless you 
Plus he goes like dirt poor. So so far, I kind of look like I'm not in a good position to win, but I feel okay because I have some properties to give away. Make it to go. Uh, lands on Pennsylvania Don't Avenue. Persistence is, is one the of my railroads, which, again, this comes in handy. Up to $73. I wish you luck. Now, time for Kavina to play. $304. There are some properties that I have that you can land on, you'll have to pay me some rent. Rolls a five, and Sometimes you're gonna have to pay me some rent, and it's thirty-six dollars because it is a color set. Sixty-eight. I don't think he'll have enough money to even Let's buy if he had a dice. chance. So I'm up to one hundred nine. Adds eight. Second. I hope you're feeling opportunity lucky. for money. Maybe let's find out. And I do. Yes. Yes. The ghost space. Oh, God is good. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to do some cool things. I kind of want to make a trade because I need some knockouts quick. So I'm going to make a trade with Damien. If there's demand, I'm gonna there want will be an offer. Property and I'm going to So 60 for 65, he'll probably agree to that. He will Once deal with me. Off. Yes, he will. So that means I get my color set. So I have two color sets. But here's the other thing. I'm not done. Because what I'm going to do is there is a piece of property that is on a mortgage. And I am going to buy back the mortgage. And now I get my utility back. So here, you see... All is not lost. Your turn. That's why you buy properties. Because when you buy properties, they're essentially assets. Buy that instantly. Broke as fuck. It was an 11. Truly unfortunate. Owe oh, some insurance. Well, he owes me rich. And keep in mind, now that there's money, there's money in the pot for that free parking. And Nico is the closest to do it. He can pull it off with a five, and he does. That is worth $300 for Nico. So there we go. He's the first person to win the jackpot. The jackpot was set back to zero dollars. We will continue to rise when fees are amassed. So Kavina rolls a 10. What do the cards have to say? Community chest. And everybody has to give Kavina ten dollars, giving him thirty, which went to two ninety-eight. Here Let's we go, it's dice. my time. Rolls an eight. Lands on my own property, so that'll be the end of my turn. It's your turn. I should have put some houses, but on a town. I feel like it's too late for that. Damien rolls a double. Your side. It's a 10. Lands on Vermont. And that is worth $6 of rent. I wish you luck. Well, actually, back to Damien, because that was a double. Rolls three. That would be Nico's property. And that's going to cost you some money. Your rent is $10. So you've been paying people a total of $16 in his turn. Nico, the money roller, is the high roller of the group with the most amount of money, but tied for the least amount of property and lands on my property. Which means you're gonna have to Don't pay thirty-six dollars to me. This is the key to success. It's your. Turn. I guess the strategy for me is to prevent Kavina from essentially buying any yellow properties. Rolls a six. You and that's fifty bucks right there. 
wish I had the light of you. Your time has come. Rolls. Rolls a four. Lands on my own property. Perhaps you should manage what your What I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Put a house. Well done. Twenty dollars. This town has never looked so great. Back to the I end. wish you luck. Rolls an eight. Property for sale. This is your chance to own dollars Are you ready? Damien's gonna buy that property. Davina wants it. Davina has really good properties, Let's roll but does dice. not have a monopoly. If she had a monopoly, it, if that person had a monopoly, that would definitely shake things up. So far, I'm going to play with monopoly means two. And Nico just rolled a double. Goes to the community chest, but has to pay a fine, fifty dollars for doctor fees. But that doesn't really do much to him. He still has over sixteen hundred dollars. Mind you, we started with fifteen hundred. He is at least one hundred dollars above. Your turn starts now. What everyone started off with, so he has a lot of money to play. Rolls again. Rolls a five. At least you are giving money to one of your luxury tax, so we know that there's a hundred dollars that goes to the pot in case someone lands on that free parking. Shake the dice Davina and see what the future holds for you. I remember setting up a house in a tent that might land on seven. And that's Oriental, this is what I want for the monopoly. Since for an investor. auction up, nope, we will do not do that. <laughs> now, would he trade? That's the million dollar question. Will he set up a trade? No. I wish you luck. He doesn't want to set up a trade. Okay. Well, let's see why that was a bad decision. And someone already owns property, this property. So 12 bucks. Time to pay but the rent. I want that monopoly now. So I'm what do you want to trade? Plus five dollars. So it'll be five dollars above market value. I think that's a good deal. Trading Let's see. Is the heart of Puts me down to three, uh, 225, but I have another Monopoly. And now, the way that it's set up, I have three Monopolies, one Monopoly straight across the board. And if I want, I can try to see if I can go for the, uh, the, the Magenta colors. Turns. Because then that would make a near two way turn of properties that I own. Kinda happy about that. Rolls a six, passes the free parking, and lands on Atlantic Avenue, which is all the side time. Bad things to happen. Smart cross. investors never give up. Now it's down to Nico. Let's roll the dice. Nico's about to cross for two hundred dollars, but there's a lot of properties that's owned by me. So, oh, snake eyes. And he gets two hundred dollars right on the nose, and gets to roll again. Let's play. These are just straight up my properties minus a railroad, and rolls another double. So that puts him up to twelve. Electric company owned by me. So that is now. Forty-eight dollars that goes into my bank puts me up to two forty-three, and he gets another roll. Your time has come. If he rolls one more double, that's straight to jail. And again, he needs to get some properties, otherwise he's going to lose all that cash. And he lands on my railroad, Pennsylvania. You must pay which means this. It's twenty-five dollars. I have managed to get about close to seventy-five dollars from Nico. 
your turn in nearly all of his turns. So that's pretty impressive. Goes back to Kabina. I'm concerned if he might get uh, vacant yellow or green that he can you make some damage. But instead, he lands for on my money. property, so he owns me 16. Puts me up to 304. Let's a deuce. Play. No, will not do that. But puts me at a five, so I'm on my own property. Maybe it's time to and manage your portfolio. I'm there, so I don't have a lot of cash. Investing. So Damien with 1163 in second place with two properties in terms of cash. Nico is still in first place with the least amount of properties at 1638. Kavina with 473 with five properties. Me with three, counting three monopolies. So that's a total of. Eight. Let's see if plus one green on property side. for nine and a utility and a railroad. But right now, Damien just netted two hundred dollars from the error from the bank. Puts him up to thirteen sixty three. Nico with sixteen thirty eight now gets to play. I was the first person to be knocked out without any money extremely early in the game. Rolls in. That red property costs me thirty-six dollars. Gives me thirty-six dollars. I'm just trying to see if I can get some money in my property so I can put some houses on that bitch. I'm getting a lot of people landing on that property, but I, I'm not really getting much money out of it. The roll is a six, so that puts you on Pennsylvania Avenue. Again, twenty-five dollars. I'm now up to three seventy-five. Your time has come. Rolls of four. Someone already owns this property. Time to pay the rent. My turn. Now back to Damien. Rolls of six. And lands on his own property. He doesn't have to do anything. Plus, he's about to get at least a $200 bonus for Cross and Go. Because he has two dice, and with only one die, that's a one, so he will have to pass Go, regardless of what the roll is. But he's landing on my turn. Nico with eight lands on Kavina's property, Pacific Avenue, with those 26 bucks. Right now, it's been me and Kavina. We spent the most money, but we're getting I the most returns. Nico is still the money leader with 1576, but is trailing with the least amount of properties. But he could do some damage now if he wants. Rolls a three, but that lands on my property, Pennsylvania Avenue. So that's $20. Had other plans for your money. I think I lost about 20 something dollars, so I kind of gained a few change. It's back to Kavina. He rolls a five. That is the bonus. But he rolls a seven. Something good is going chance to happen. Card. I can feel it. And he has to go to Reading Railroad. Two hundred dollars if he gets past go. And he does. And it's up for grabs. Does he want to buy? He will buy. So now he has a railroad. $25. I'm pretty sure that's going to end his turn. Let's roll so now dice. it's my turn. Great. Rolls a double, so that's an eight. And what do you know? I will get a railroad. Train to I will catch. buy that railroad. And I get to play again. Rolls a ten. But lands on his railroad. <laughs> You have to so that's twenty-five dollars. Ends the turn. Puts him above the five hundred dollar mark. This town, your now time has Venus come. Turn, but he has to deal with a lot of my properties later on. This is too big. Starts off with a six. You must be five dollars to play. Shake the dice and see what the future holds for you. Seven. Deals on our property has to be four dollars. Ten. Sorry, I'm not. 
It's your turn. Rolls a five. Oh, sorry, a nine. You have enough to money buy to buy this property. Buy. Would you like to invest? Let's play. Rolls Don't give up. Persistence is the key to success. Smart investors set. never give up. I wish you luck. Sometimes you have to pay the price. Your turn starts now. Rolls an 80. It's time to find out Rolls whether you have good product. luck or bad Rolls luck. Rolls railroad. If unopened, you can buy it from the bank. And sure enough, it Let's is $200 to buy it. Each of us has a railroad. Shake the dice and, and see what dice. the future holds for you. Near the free parking, rolls a five and one more short of earning that jackpot. Rolls a double six. You know what you're doing. Congrats. And gets All the jackpot the here. One hundred and fifty dollars. I think this is the second time he's managed to hit on that. Honestly, I don't see why he's not buying property. But he's the type that's going to be the cash a Rolls a seven. You certainly had other plans for your money. Your time has come. much property on blue or green. I love what property. you've done to the place. Uh, properties. I wish you luck. Rolls a 10. And it's property Are you for sale. interested in buying this property? I will buy it because that will prevent... <laughs> Let's manage my problems. This is a very important move. How about investing in this city? We might as well trade. We might as well trade. Because if we trade, we both get what we want. And I will get my first monopoly. Well, he will get, well, Convena, excuse me, will get his first monopoly. I will get my fourth. Actually. No, this is a bad idea either way. What am I doing? It was the right move to do because I have the two pieces he needs. <laughs> so he cannot get a monopoly even if he wanted to. That's actually the right decision. I was about to trade away an opportunity to win the game because he Let's can't get monopolies even if he's on your side but he will have two properties and get some lands on it so that way he can get some rent 
So the highest property value would have to be Shake my property. At least the and red see one. What the the red one. holds for you. That red color set is the one that I can pretty much put a bunch of houses. But I need some money. <laughs> Rolls of six. That's thirty-six dollars. That looks too good. Your time has come. Rolls an eight. Someone already owns on my this property. property. Time to pay the rent. Let's roll the dice. It's your turn. Wrap it around the end of the block for a chance at go. You can't always decide what's card. going to happen to you. Oh, home nice. sweet home. Okay. Have you thought about upgrading? Oh, Let's roll the dice. Sometimes bad like things happen. Smart investors never give up. Shake the dice and see what the future holds for you. I imagine you prefer being on this side of the box. Whatever happens, don't settle. And I get to collect two hundred dollars, which is very important. Now I get to build some property. Congratulations. Great. Houses have been placed on the streets. So now there is some money on the streets. Rolls of seven. Don't give right up. Move, Persistence is the key to success. Play. Rolls a ten, so he'll get past the two hundred dollars, but loses the two hundred dollars because you owe the bank. That now goes into the free parking. It's your turn. Uh, pot, and whoever lands on it. We'll get whatever it's in it plus the two hundred dollars, and it's a four. I love that what you've done to the place. To avoid paying anything. Your turn starts now. You're home. Maybe it's time to manage your portfolio. Rolls of five. For sale. 
You landed on a Probably free the, might be the best time Do you want to, to invest? How about investing in this city? Surprise Damien didn't buy it. It would be smart because it avoids another monopoly. Forces Nico to have to make moves. But Nico will win the second property. And if Nico can persuade a way to get that third property from Kavina, I wish you luck. then Kavina could essentially give Nico his first monopoly, which would be pretty messed up. I was Kavina, I would not even bother to make why do you? You certainly had other plans. You should make a deal when you have your own. Let's yeah, roll even dice. bother to make a deal because I'm pretty sure Kavina is not going to give that up. At least not until Kavina gets it. So great. Has the money to do that? It has to avoid paying fines, but that won't happen. Because that right there is a two hundred dollar bonus. I was trying to aim for sets back to zero. It's a six. Perhaps you should manage your portfolio. This property is for sale. Would be the smart it's time to become the owner. And now Damien buys that. <laughs> Damien is smart. He's probably trying to make it so to get that third sale. Shake what the dice and happen? see what the future holds for you. Right now, I would hold those pieces of ransom. It's your turn. Rolls five. You're home. Maybe it's time to manage your portfolio. I wish you luck. Rolls eleven. Your rent is due. Let's play. Hey, that's a good one. There is no money, no money in the jackpot again. Next time, if you've noticed, Damien has been hitting that free fucking parking spot the entire game. I kid you not. We're about to hit the first hour of our broadcast. Only has hit that position three times. Don't give up. Ask Persistence is the key to success. Let's roll the dice. Congratulations. It's going up. It's a shame with all that money. He can't build anything. I wish the you properties that he wants. Everybody has. This town has he can't build him an The only real asset that he has are his railroads and the rent that he'll collect. But he can't build any monopolies. Someone already like for owns instance, this property. This one. That must be the one, rent. That's one of the most expensive properties on the mine. That could be Shake the dice and see what the future holds for you. It could be because of AI. But remember, some of those deals, like is on people don't side. usually like to do cash deals like that for reasons like this. Lands on the community chest and has to pay for bucks. Your time has come. Yeah. Rolls seven. Good 
news. Now I have to be methodical. Your turn starts now. Home sweet home. Have you thought about upgrading? I'm looking at where my opponent is. Mighty Oaks from Little Acorns Grove. It's your turn. Sometimes bad things happen. Smart investors never give up. I'm impressed with Kavina. I will tell you that right now. Kavina, Let's play. with those bonus cash awards, has a very healthy, you know, balance sheet in terms of what's in the bank, properties, in terms of assets. It's really healthy. But I have the properties. Don't give up. So look Persistence what's happening now. To it's success. 60 bucks. It's definitely going to be one. Your time has come. Done to the place. Shake the dice and I'll see what the future holds for you. Four to five. I will. How high is the roll? It's a seven. But I up oh, even better. Lands on my own property. So now, home sweet home. Have you thought about upgrading? Let's look at the board. Let's see where people are. My opponent that's coming up towards my neck of the woods is this dude. I'm thinking he's gonna land. I wish you luck. I'm a gambler. Let's hope for a high roll. It is a seven. Perhaps you own this property. your portfolio. So now I'm gonna have to think, depending on if I can get fifty dollars or more, should I put some Let's houses roll the dice on the light blue, the light blue properties? I want some money to do it because I'm not on a cap. Rolls a five. Hands on that. Your rent is due. And I have the cap one. If I can get twenty dollars from your turn to start now. Properties, I will put at least one house on the white roofs. So I have at least enough money. Negative. That doesn't happen. Not the nicest so, place to visit, but at least you're safe. Make that move. Going around the board. You're home. Maybe it's time to manage your portfolio. Damien, the big leader with 1666 with three properties. He has the most cash, but he does not have you must pay this player. Huge cash Let's roll the dice. That's what I like to see. Rolls a dub. Lands on my utility, so that's 16 times to pay the rent. Let's play. Next, at Nikos. I'm going to want to start putting some houses on that red. 
money can be made there. But lands on a free parking. So that's 50 bucks. Goes to Kavina. Sometimes you have to pay the price. <coughs> Your turn four. starts now. Okay, you get 90 bucks right there. Double six. Plans on the whole shit. Manage your portfolio. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play again. That's cool. Shake the dice and see what the future holds for you. Seven, which is not my property. Almost 26 bucks. That's okay. I'm gonna manage some properties now because I need to see where people are on board so I can set up some houses. Searching with. Mighty Oaks from Little Acorns Grow. Or maybe not even his best, but like, somebody hits the red property, he got it. Rolls five. You must pay this player. He doesn't have a lot of property, but when he does, he'll collect some time. I wish you luck. Rolls of seven. Someone already yeah. owns this property. Time to pay the rent. And the balance sheet for Kavina looks pretty okay, but the problem is it's Let's gonna collapse. Play. The moment people start landing on these houses, because it's gonna get really expensive. It's gonna get expensive. And this is where playing the long game is all that matters. And for a person like Kavina, that is the perfect place to be. Because you don't have to move around the board landing on any houses or hotels. And you know, you can manage your properties from your afar. Time has so come. that's kind of a good position to be in. So here we go. I'm about to collect $200 if I can avoid the big problems. I hope you're feeling lucky. Like chance, and I get a get out of jail free card. I likes. I likes, I likes, I likes. Turn. Your turn starts now. It's important because sometimes you want to, you know, build. <laughs> In this situation, I'm nearly set to the point where get out of jail free card really doesn't matter. Your rent is due. I want to buy properties, but I want to buy properties early. So in a situation where you want to buy properties and it's you want turn. to try to get ahead of building your monopolies early, you don't want to be in jail. That's where the get out of jail free card is very useful. But for me, the way that the game is set up in three monopolies, two railroads, and utility, I don't have a real incentive people make to want to do luck. anything. So he goes to Illinois Avenue, which is my shit, Sometimes you have $40. To the price. <laughs> so good for you. That goes to me. And that's another reason why I love the red properties, because even your your your, your chance cards or community chess cards can designate you to properties that you may own, which is like a guaranteed money in the bank. And at a red property like that, I'm making sure I'm trying to do Damien hits up Nico for $50. Again, healthy, healthy, healthy cash flow. But Your time if you don't come. own shit, you're going to end up very broke very, very quickly, which I guess is the life one lesson for me. I must own things, otherwise I'm going to be broke forever. Anyway, rolls a nine. Hands on my shit. 
So even though you got two hundred dollars, bad things minus happen. 30. Smart investors never give up. We get the five eighteen. I haven't been at the five hundred dollar mark in a while because when I do shake the dice that point, I and see what the future holds for you. So it's nice to be at the five hundred dollar range, sub five hundred dollar range of the game, plus a get out of jail free card. You must pay this. So we've already passed the first hour of this game. <laughs> so I told you, this is like one of those games that you want to play on a late Saturday or a late Sunday roll the afternoon, like today. We got nothing better. Rolls a seven. Lands on my shit. Now here's where I'm gonna be an asshole. Have you thought about First, let's see where people are on the board. Um, where people are on the board. Here. Well done. And I think this is the richest property, so this has to be. You here. did well. And it's not bad. <laughs> so now Let's play. I got two players that are approaching us. So I can collect. I'm talking about three digits. Certainly had other plans for your money. Your turn starts now. Sometimes you have to pay the price. I wish you luck. Don't give up. Yeah, I was gone from my computer to success. That's some business to As there was a pause. Your time has come. Nothing much has changed. I've been in and out of the sub 500. How did you do that? My bank account for a while. Rolls a double six. Lands on my shit. Rolls in. Let's play. And I don't think I got anything. Congratulations! Oh, I got the two All the money here is yours. Finally get to the free parking when there's barely any money. Let's nice. roll the dice. Team. I'm not gonna build anything right now. Let the money circle. Luxury tax. So we know there's a hundred dollars in the Shake the dice and see what the future holds for you. See, like at this point, all you gotta do is just look at what people are doing. There's no major trades that's gonna be done because the way that everyone has their, their portfolio set up, there's just no reason to make any this property. Time to not, the right. like Kavana is not gonna give Nico anything because he has money. And if you give him a monopoly, it's your with all that money. What's to stop him from putting a bunch of hotels on? Him? Same thing with me. I have two pieces that prevents Kavina from getting monopoly. These are some rich ass properties. So what's to say he won't do the same even with like a low cash flow? Like there's just a lot of things. To consider, your so there is no reason for anyone to trade. So the only thing you can do now is just watch the game. Your time has come. My only concern is if I land on a chance card and I have to pay for all the repairs on my properties and shit. That will cost me a lot. Of money. Your rent is due. Cause I'm the only one with a bunch of houses. 
So it also begs the question, how much houses do I want to buy? Wow, I'm hoping I avoid it. I've done it before. I've played a game where I've avoided that card, and it got me a championship. But... down to luck. You can be very stupid when you have done that full time. That's what I call bad So now I believe it's $300 that's in the pot. So that's a pretty nice sum of money. Let's play. Don't be Nico, because Nico cannot roll a one. It's impossible. Rolls a 10. Bad things happen. Smart investors never give up. Your turn starts now. Most of the characters are about to approach my ship. Home sweet home. Have you thought about upgrading?